Samsung's highly anticipated developer conference 2024 or SDC 24 is taking place tomorrow in California, and there's a lot of buzz surrounding it. Typically, this event is when Samsung unveils the latest version of One UI, their custom interface for Galaxy devices. But this year, things seem to be a little different, and there's some uncertainty about whether we'll actually see One UI 7 at this event. Samsung has already made it clear that SDC 24 will celebrate 10 years of open innovation, collaboration with developers, partners, and customers. But the focus this year seems to be more about how to leverage the latest advancements in artificial intelligence rather than the usual One UI reveal. One of the key moments at SDC 24 will be a keynote speech by Sally Hijong, Samsung's executive vice president and head of framework R&D for the mobile experience business. For those who may not know, Sally is the leader behind the One UI design team, and she's typically the one who introduces new versions of One UI at events like this. So naturally, there's a lot of speculation about what she might unveil during her keynote. While Samsung hasn't mentioned One UI in any of the official SDC24 press releases, which is definitely raising some questions, they have confirmed that the conference will showcase cross-platform innovations. These innovations will focus on how developers can make use of Samsung's tools like SmartThings, Galaxy Artificial Intelligence, Noxt, and Tizen to create next-gen solutions. Galaxy AI is expected to be a central theme at tomorrow's event, and there's no doubt that Samsung's push for AI is growing stronger. But for general Galaxy users, the big question remains, what's happening with One UI 7? We know that Galaxy S24 users are anxiously waiting for the Android 15 base One UI 7 beta program to kick off. However, there hasn't been any activity yet. Even more curious, check for a tool that monitors beta firmware on Samsung servers hasn't detected any signs of a One UI 7 beta. That raises the stakes for this year's SDC, as it might give us some crucial updates for the Galaxy community, even if One UI 7 isn't officially launched tomorrow. Now, here's an interesting twist. Google recently announced that Pixel devices will receive Android 15 in mid-October, and they've already transitioned their beta testing into the quarterly platform release phase. This means Android 15 is pretty much ready for prime time on Pixel devices. What's intriguing is that One UI might get a new security feature similar to iOS's stolen device protection. This comes down to a tool Google is working on for Android called Identity Check. Essentially, this feature will require you to use your fingerprint or face to unlock certain apps, adding an extra layer of security and privacy, particularly when you're outside trusted locations. Discovered some new strings in the Settings app that suggest Google is close to launching this feature. These strings refer to the identity check is on, and the feature will require biometric authentication, even if apps would usually allow pins, passwords, or patterns as backup options. This extra layer of security could be a game changer for Galaxy users, especially if Samsung integrates it into One UI 7. As we await Samsung's announcement, it's clear that AI and security will be major themes at SDC 24. Whether or not One UI 7 is officially introduced remains a mystery, but Galaxy users will definitely want to keep an eye on the new tools and innovations that Samsung is expected to showcase. That's all for today. What do you think Samsung will announce at SDC 24? Let me know in the comments. As always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Hey, we've got some exciting news about Samsung's upcoming foldable smartphones. If you're a tech enthusiast, you're definitely going to want to stick around for this one. We're talking about the highly anticipated Galaxy Z Fold 6 series, and more specifically, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra, which is rumored to be coming to China and Korea. Let's dive right in. Among the many Galaxy Z Fold 6 models that are currently in development in Samsung's labs, the one that has everyone buzzing is the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. Now, if you're familiar with Samsung's ultra-branded smartphones, you know they are designed to be the best of the best, offering high-end features and cutting-edge technology. While the standard Galaxy Z Fold 6 is expected to bring some minor incremental upgrades, all eyes are undoubtedly on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. However, here's the catch. The Ultra isn't expected to get a global release. But don't worry, it seems this powerhouse of a device won't be restricted to just Samsung's home country, South Korea. According to the folks over at Android Headlines, Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra could also be launching in China. This is particularly interesting because it seems the rumored Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim, which we've been hearing about with its slimmer body, bigger displays, and larger battery, might actually be the Chinese variant of the Fold 6 Ultra. If this is true, it would clear up some of the confusion we've seen in recent weeks about how many models Samsung is actually working on. It might just be two. The Galaxy Z Fold 6 and the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra, the Ultra, limited to Korea and China for now, would allow Samsung to gauge interest levels before potentially bringing it to a wider audience. 
In China, the Z Fold 6 Ultra may be sold as the Samsung Go E25, complete with unique visual touches like decorative engravings on the hinge, similar to previous Samsung Gilly smartphones. And here's another interesting tidbit. China might also get the Galaxy Z Flip 6 as the W25 Flip. This is speculative at this point, but it aligns with rumors that Samsung is also working on a Galaxy Z Flip 6 Slim. Now, unfortunately, there isn't a lot of detailed information about what exactly the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra will offer compared to the Z Fold 6. This is probably because the Ultra model isn't launching alongside the standard model, but we can expect more details to emerge once the standard Galaxy Z Fold 6 goes official at Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked event next month. Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked events are always full of surprises and we can't wait to see what they have in store for us this time. Will the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra live up to the hype? Will it bring groundbreaking features that set apart from the standard model? Only time will tell. To be an upgrade. While rumors suggest a larger display and a slimmer design, the lack of S Pen support might be a deal breaker for some users. Ross Yanon also mentioned that production for the Z Fold 6 Ultra's display panels might begin later this year, with a launch expected in January alongside the Galaxy S25. This staggered release makes sense. It avoids competing with the July launch of the regular Fold 6 and keeps the Ultra exclusive to South Korea for now, which might frustrate international buyers. Speaking of launches, rumors suggest the next Galaxy Unpacked event might be happening on July 10th in Paris, France. However, Tipster E-Leak's list of expected reveals didn't include the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. Does this mean no Fold 6 Ultra this year? Probably not. E-Leak's list might only include devices one leaked photo a few days ago, looks a bit cheap and out of place on a flagship smartphone expected to cost over $1,500. The device in the picture also appears to be wider than the current Galaxy Z Fold models, suggesting that Samsung is increasing the display size. However, the screens won't be significantly bigger. Samsung is reportedly saving the major display size upgrade for the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra and Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim models, which are rumored to launch alongside the standard Z Fold 6 this year. Now, let's move to the front. The first hands-on image of the Galaxy Z Fold 6 has leaked and reveals that Samsung has finally listened to Galaxy Z Fold users. The new foldable phone will feature a wider cover screen compared to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. Reliable tipster Ice Universe shared this full image showing the front of the device and comparing it to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. As you can see, the upcoming foldable phone will have a wider cover screen that matches the width of the Galaxy Z Fold 5's cover screen plus one of its bezels. This wider cover screen should improve the typing experience on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and resolve aspect ratio issues in some apps and games. The new foldable also appears to have much sharper corners for both the body and the cover screen. A tipster shared a photo that seems to show a new camera module for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. Although the leak only indicates that the camera module will feature a new design, it's doubtful Samsung would implement a design change without also upgrading the camera hardware. Here we have the first look at the new Galaxy Z Fold 6 outer display. A Twitter user named Ali recently shared a render comparing it to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. According to Ali, the new outer display features a boxier design and a slimmer hinge, significantly enhancing a Fold 6's overall appearance. The most noticeable difference between the Fold 5 and Fold 6 is the wider cover display. The render clearly shows what do you think about these changes? Are you excited about the wider cover screen and new design? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the latest tech news. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.